no, 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 Javalot by Olight. In the Nut and Fancy system as we speak, I have two of these lights and I do use them frequently and I do love them. I stand behind my review about mm, two years ago on this product and this was a review light purchased, not given to me by Olight, and I think it's around circa 2020, the Javelot Pro. They have other editions coming out now. Javelot 2, 3, Turbo, whatever in the heck they're calling them. All the Javelots are fantastic. These are long throw, very capable search and rescue flashlights. That's really what I classify these lights as, the Javelots. I do think that in that review, I talked about using them as a weapon light. Uh, they're about one inch in their body diameter. If you can space out that fat head from the side of your handguard, you could do it. Um, they're not overly heavy. Uh, I think they're going to be about the same weight as this Warrior X Turbo, maybe a little bit more, but they're just so ungainly because they're long. Okay, so the Javelots have great throw. They have a great beam clarity uh, to them. They have the modes that you need. I'm not going to review it here, just suffice it to say the Javelots are fantastic. And I don't want to have this video uh, take anything away from that product. I'll put links to the Javelots below, whatever edition they're making. Sometimes, rarely, Olight will come out with different colorations. I love the standard blacks always. They're, they're perfect. They're just versatile. And I really love this purple-blue bezel that this one had on it, the crenellated bezel. Really cool. That's a Javelot. Okay, good option for a gun. I'm basically saying it's too big, too ungainly. This one, however, I hope you're listening, TMPers. This one, perhaps, and I'm not gonna like write this in stone, but to this point, I think it is the best weapon light I have tested to date. Did you hear that? The best weapon light. Now, during Red Skies 2022, I did run the Odin, if I remember, I think this is what was on my uh, my SIG. So the SIG MCX was running an Odin. So it's saying 300 meter throw. This is in a cool limited edition red. Eat your heart out. It's long gone. Uh, 2000 lumens max. It's a great light. I love the Odin. But you're going to see inset video of me testing this Odin against the Warrior X Turbo. Dude, it's not even close. This is more of an area weapon light. I would say you could push it to 100 yards, maybe. I would not want to take an Odin past 100 yards. So you might want to rethink your limitations on this particular light. Great light, comes with this cool mount. I love the Odin. However, in their lineup, the Warrior X Turbo completely destroys it. It is potentially the best weapon light I've tested to date. Now, it's not super lightweight. It's going to be almost 11 ounces, 10.6 to be exact. The body is 1.03 inches in diameter, which means you can use a wide variety of mounts to put it on your AR or your uh, lumber, your 2x4. They do have the WM25L weapon light mount on the, o on the Olight website. You could use that. It looks to be a good site. I don't think I've tried it. <clears throat> Why do you say it that way, Nutton? Because I do buy a lot from them usually around turkey day when things are on sale that's when i buy and i don't think i got one of those but but uh, this as a weapon line i think is fantastic if you can get past again just like the javelot a large diameter head so it's just a big head dude i don't know what to tell you uh, it's necessary for the throw that it achieves look at the smooth deep reflector that's what you need for throw with current technology. There are a couple lights that do workarounds, but this is a tried and true way for a light to reach out and touch somebody. Maybe out to, I would say this light, easily to 200 yards. Maybe to 300 yards. They're saying that it goes out to 1,000 meters. Uh, I tested it in real world desert conditions. No, not a thousand, but easily to 200, 300 yards. I'll say that too. 
I mean, you can easily identify what's going on. I mean, check out the cow who was pissed that I was showing the Warrior X Turbo in his face or in her face. <laughs> I think it was a <laughs> cow. Yeah, so she's going to be our subject. I didn't see any deerkins out there when I was doing it. But dude, I mean, it lit up the night. And it's a very culminated pinpoint laser beam coming out of the Warrior X Turbo. One reason that it is so outstanding and so awesome is because guess what? It has a great power source, a great engine, and it's a 21700 at 5,000 milliamps. Dude, that is the greatest power cell in current technology right now. And Olight power cells are the best. I mean, I've bought some others and they're pretty good. I love the Olight one. They're uh, circuit protected, they're safe, and they put out the juice and they last a long time. Goodness gracious, what a light. And here's your threading. I do put silicone grease on there. O-ring, square cut threads, shock isolated front and back. You can see the spring right here. Let's get the old S20. Dude, the old S20 to do illumination duties on that. Only the best production quality known to mankind. Look at that. So that's a nice shock isolation. So for, I, I would say a medium recoiling gun, I think uh, your Warrior X Turbo would be just fine. Good looking color this one is too. I don't see the FDE now on their website, but all that changes day to day, month to month. They'll come out with special editions. They'll upgrade this. This is going to be my Warrior X review. They probably come out with like the Warrior X Turbo 2, 3. You know how Olight does it. They're constantly, they are improving things, but sometimes they will not improve things. And I will reference the clip on the Olight Mini Warriors. I don't think it's as good as, well, this clip. And I said as much in that review. Go check it out. Go check it out. So weapon, not, weapon light extraordinaire. And this is what a weapon light should do. It should reach out. It should be very precise Winchester. if you want range. And now if you're on a, you have a close range gun, like a shotgun, a sub gun, a PCC, a pistol, you know, maybe out to 50 yards would be just way, fine. Right. And a wide variety of lights, including in the O-light lineup can perform well. But if you really want to identify your target, at a long distance, this is where you do it, dude. This one right here. And that Javelot too. If you can adapt that Javelot, yeah. On their website, they say this is a mind-blowing beam out of that smooth, deep reflector of the Warrior X Turbo. I say, I agree. I agree. I mean, I, I was testing it again. I've tested this thing like four times. My hard drive, hard drive crashed from all my 2020 one testing footage, so I had to redo it. I was impressed then, but again, last night I'm like, holy shit, this is a light. I mean, this is a, a light that really has reach and that can really, again, identify bad guys from a long ways away. Now, the runtime on this is gonna change. Uh, this one is putting out, I think, let me look on the back here. Yeah, 1100 lumens. There's your stats right there on this generation of Warrior X Turbo. And it'll do that for 6.5 minutes. 600 lumens for 105 minutes, 300 lumens for 27 minutes, 150 lumens for 52 minutes, if I'm reading that right. And I actually wrote it down, I'm not reading it at all. Uh, so it's gonna have a step down function because it will get so hot. There are some cooling fins right here. I did notice, and I'm noticing it now, it generates some heat, boys. You could actually warm your hands up with this in cold weather. And by the way, I have done that with powerful flashlights before. I totally have done that and I recommend it. It works good. Another uh, philosophy of use. But for POU on this, I'm gonna say mainly a weapon light, search and rescue, just like the Javelot. Also, I'll call it a bump in the night light. And that is you're gonna go investigate something either on your rural property, around your house, maybe, inside your house and when you get there you want to have a light that would basically blind the dude yeah this this will do it this will do it now notice this it's not an area light so you may have like as i get closer see that ghost in there see the ghost disregard that you ain't going to see that out there so at distance this is just a smooth clean clean artifact free 
uh, beam and I just am in love with it. I'm in love with it. It's fantastic. IPX8 rated, so it's relatively waterproof. That will take you down to one meter. Definitely drop tested to a point. I mean, this is tempered glass right here. It has to be glass to withstand the heat. You can shatter this. Be careful. You have a crenellated strike bezel here. I do like those, by the way. And you're not ever going to carry this in your pocket, are you? Get real. Are you actually going to carry your Warrior X Turbo in your pocket? No. You have a holster. It comes with it. Here's the box to this one that I purchased. I love their boxes. Oh my gosh. Oh, light. You do such a good job with your freaking boxes. They have a picture of the product, the color. I don't even like throwing them away because they're so cool. Don't throw your boxes away. They have the specifications on the back. Goodness gracious, what a great box. And here's your holster. Uh, I never use these though. I, I wish I did, but I don't. I mean, yeah, it's standard ballistic nylon. They have Velcro attachment that you can put over your, you know, your belt. I, when I'm using this, it's either going to be on a gun or it's in a backpack and then it comes out. Or it's next to a nightstand right here. And honestly, I'm using this right now. It's like a, a house light. So if something goes bump in the night, just I'll either answer with that Javelot, which is still amazing, or the uh, the Warrior X Turbo. This one's actually a better weapon. This is almost like a baton. So you could smack some dude in the head. I think I said that in the review. You could you could definitely kill a chipmunk with this. Yo, what do you mean chipmunks? The the attitude they put out insane. Now, if the, I'm kidding, of course. The battery, uh, if it gets below, I think, 20%, this thing starts vibrating. Don't get any weird ideas. No, not that level of vibration. It's going to buzz in your hand and just say, hey, dude, you might want to recharge this. Uh, now, absent on this light is a side actuation switch. Everything's going to be done with a, a tail cap. They do have um, their tie-in here, a weapon light tie-in on the Olight website. Uh, how do I feel about that? Mm, I think it's a WM25L. Did I say that already? Probably did. I, I generally like just a push button. So I would mount this on my AR-15 and then I just push it. It's just so simple, works. I don't have to worry about buttons getting in the way. So simple. Yeah, so long press will be momentary. So if I do a long press halfway, that's gonna give me low mode. Then if I do it uh, long press all the way, low mode turbo, then it's off. If I do a quick press halfway, that's low mode, then I come off, quick press deep, turbo mode. And that's it, boys. How simple is that? How simple is that? So easy breezy. Now, a downside to this tail cap, even though it's waterproof, IPX8, once again, the, the standing feature on it is lame. It's like non-existent. I would say, all these tactical tail cap ones, especially the top heavy ones like this light, and don't count on it. Comes with two different rings. This is the tactical ring. And then I actually have a green turbo and there's a silicone ring that comes with this. I don't know where it went, but uh, if I can find the footage of me testing the green one, it's like a, to be honest, it's a really ugly green. It's like a mint green. And when I got it, I was like, oh damn, this, this does not look good, but it was so unusual. I decided to keep it. And so, yeah, I have two of these. Uh, and then it has a silicone grip ring that you can put on there. Look at your instructions. It'll tell you all about it. And that's pretty much the light, dude. Down and dirty. I mean, I'm, I'm ripping through these things as, as best I can. What I didn't say is the low is 150 lumens, by the way. And it will burn at 150 lumens for 43 years on a fully charged 21700 battery. Okay, maybe not that long, but a long time. Yeah, definitely a long time. 12.5 uh, hours last time I checked, but I could be wrong. There you go, highly, highly recommended uh, light, the Warrior X Turbo. What I'm saying right now is it is the best weapon light I've seen yet. Child's and play. we're gonna side with the firepower side of the equation, dudes, not mobility. This is not a super lightweight night, uh, light, and it's not a super compact he light. He but damn, son, when you want to reach out and shoot at night at 300 meters, right here. Javelot's right there, too, but look at the size difference. Size difference. Well done, Olight. I'm so glad they have not discontinued this light. It, it is super fantastic. Mora knife on the table in carbon steel. Love this knife. 
Which model is it? Oh, I think it is the Bushcrafter, but I'm not sure. I'm not sure. The sheath went bye bye. This is a mundane giant watch. They call it a giant. It's only 40 millimeters across. Still a great watch. And any ideas what car this is? It's out of the GT500 race circuit, so that means they're running about 500 horsepower, and I have it as an MRS engraved. Reckless MRS. Oh, GT300, sorry. I thought it was a 500 class, so 300 horse. So all the cars are limited to the same horsepower, so it all comes down to driving skill. That used to be a race they ran in Japan last time I checked. None fancy project. Continuing on. This is another flashlight review. Again, let me know if you hate these and I will never do them again. I'll po post more cat videos and more motorcycle videos. There you go. Oh, more a clipper. There it is. Yeah, I thought it was a uh, uh, bushcraft. No, they're all pretty much the same. Thanks so much to the donors who keep this show alive. They gave me the funds to go buy this stuff so I'm not beholden to anyone. Anyone. We'll see you next video.